Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're finding these videos useful and subscribing to the channel. In today's session on Azure, I'm here to talk about update management of your infrastructure by using Azure Automation. So let's get started. So let's understand uh, what Azure Automation is and uh, why you need to do update management, even though it's in cloud. So in simple term, Azure Automation is a serverless platform designed to run PowerShell in the, uh, in the cloud. Now you can use some other languages such as Python, but the core here is that to provide you a central repository where you can uh, store all your PowerShell scripts and Python scripts, which you can run it against your cloud as well as your on-prem infrastructure. So what has happened is uh, when we talk about update management, so you have on-prem infrastructure, And slowly what you have done is uh, you have started moving this in the cloud. Right, so you still have some on-prem, some in cloud, or maybe you have fully moved that to the cloud, right? Now, when we talk about uh, IaaS infrastructure, we still need to update it, we need to patch it. So all those things which we are generally used to on-prem, we need to do that. So what are the options uh, uh, Azure provides in order to achieve this and automate that process? So if you remember in my previous video, I showed you how to create automation account as well as log analytic workspace because that's a prerequisite for this uh, in order to uh, utilize the services and whatever machines that we have, then we can use uh, automation to update our infrastructure, apply critical and security patches. All those things will be available through this, but it's a serverless platform. We don't need to deploy anything. We can all automate and then uh, I will show you actually the steps involved in that. But that is what a uh, prerequisite for update management. You need an automation account and you need a log analytic workspace and uh, We'll see how to do that. So with that, let me just go to Azure portal. And I'll go to my automation account, which I think I had pinned in my favorite. And this is the one that we created in our last video. So let's look at this. So this is uh, the automation account, which we created. And as you can see here, uh, if I go under the update management, I have this tab for updating my environment. Now, there are four things that you need to consider. We have schedule, so we can schedule it. You can use this for both Azure VM as well as on-prem. So yes, it is a hybrid solution. So if you have your VMs and it can be both Windows as well as Linux, which you can use it to apply the updates. So it can be on-prem, it can be in the cloud. We can use uh, automation to manage all those and apply updates, critical patching, security updates, and all that, right? So if you want to go to add Azure VMs, it will open a new blade for us. I can pick under what location. Like for example, if I pick under the US, virtual, uh, US region, central US, where my resource group is, and you can see here, that uh, I have already enabled for one machine. I have uh, two which cannot be enabled because uh, it is uh, reporting to a default workspace. But uh, just wanted to show you, you can add from here, whatever machines you want to apply updates against. And as I said, you can also apply it against uh, non-Azure machines, so if you have on-prem machine or maybe in some other clouds, you can deploy that too. So if I go inside this, you can see it opens a page. So basically it gives me all the information about, because once you deploy these machines within the Azure environment, by default, an agent is deployed, which talks to the operating system and give us all the telemetry that you need and for Azure services to function. But on-prem, we don't have any agent. So what you need is you need to deploy an agent 
on these machines so that log analytic workspace and automation account can talk and then you can apply updates management. And if you have uh, uh, other services from Microsoft such as uh, System Center config, you can also utilize this. It can work in combination with that, right? So you can do this, but you need to deploy the agent on-prem, but on the Azure VM, it is already there by default. Now you can also reach it. So if I can go under my linked workspace, this is the one we linked in, in our uh, last video. I can go to advanced settings. And you can see I can apply this for my Windows and Linux server. And this is the agent I was talking about. Uh, you can deploy this for both 32-bit as well as 64-bit. You need to provide the workspace ID as well as primary key. And then you can link this with our services, right? So that's another way of uh, doing for non-Azure VMs. So let me go back to my automation account and open this. And again, if I go into the update management, you have add Azure VM, non-Azure VM. You can also manage machines. So you can enable on all the machines by default. You can enable on all machines and future machines. So any machine that you add in the future will be automatically added. And you can also enable on the selected machines, right? So all these options are there. Now, if I go to the schedule update deployment, uh, I can give a name. Now, I don't have any on-prem uh, machines. I only have uh, in Azure environment, you can give it a name. You can pick for Windows or Linux. You can select from groups to update or machine to update. So as I said that, if you have system center, if you have already active directory groups, you can go and uh, use uh, uh, this way. So machines to update in that, or you want to do it dynamically, you can go to groups to update. And here you can specify for what subscription you want, right? For resource group, you can apply filters. Right, you can go to preview and see that which machines you want to use it for. And uh, right now I've only enabled for uh, one machine, but uh, whatever machine is linked to that workspace, you can enable that, right? Uh, I can pick what updates I want to do. I can select all of them. If I want only critical updates or security updates, I can choose that too. So you get the flexibility of choosing what updates you want. Right, so that I can do under the update classification. I can go also include and exclude updates. So I want to exclude any updates. I want to exclude any uh, knowledge base IDs. I can give the IDs over here. I can exclude it. So all those things I can do it from here, right? So that's under the include and exclude update category. Obviously scheduling is very important. We don't want to do this during our production hour. So I can schedule this, I can specify what is the start date, right? So if we want to say, do it on the Saturdays, I want to apply this at, uh, say in the in the nighttime, I can start it at 11 p.m. I can specify that, I can pick my time zone. I can make it a recurring affair, or I can do it once. If I want to make it a recurring affair, I can choose from uh, hourly, weekly, or monthly. I can also specify when they expire. So that is also possible. Uh, I can also specify what is my maintenance window. Uh, the minimum is 30 minutes and the max is uh, 360 minutes. I can go, but if I go say 29 minutes, it won't take because as I said, minimum is 30, maximum is 360. Even if I go 361, it's not gonna take. So I can specify anything between uh, uh, 30 minutes and 360 minutes actually it says over here between 30 minutes and six hours. And I can also specify what are the reboot options. I can specify, so some uh, updates if it needs the machine to be rebooted, I can specify it never reboots, always reboot or only reboot uh, will install updates. So I have that option uh, available. And once I click on the create, whatever machines under that group that I have selected, uh, the patches, the security updates, the critical updates will be applied to those machines in the category. 
So this is the way you can you can uh, manage. So update management, you don't need any machine. There is no server. You can use this for both on-prem as well as uh, your cloud resources, and you can apply uh, updates uh, and uh, manage your resources. So. This was a quick overview on how you can use Azure Automation to protect or apply updates on your Azure as well as your on-prem machines. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.